Mother Nature is an extremely hard taskmaster. The hardest boss that anybody could ever have, because there's no mercy. Probably half of my time is spent trying to use the water as efficiently as possible. You lose a few hundred thousand dollars year after year, you know, it's, it's a tough goal. We've had more dry years than we've had wet years, and I think that's become the norm. The land is drier, the rangeland is drier, springs are, that we could usually count on being there are drying up, so it's a scary time. The department right now is in the process of working through our agricultural water optimization program, and this is a way that we can help farmers and ranchers use their water more efficiently. If the opportunity is presented, farmers and ranchers want to do better with the resources that they have. They're reaching out to producers, they're reaching out to other individuals saying, hey look, here's what we're up against, here's what we're facing, how can we overcome this? The Department of Ag is always there backing you up. Change and conservation and best practices are changing and evolving and I am very willing to evolve with them. With the help of UDAF and NRCS, we've been able to adapt those practices more quickly. With the limited availability of water, by increasing the efficiency, even on these drought years, we may be able to farm nearly all of our acres. And so without some help from the state, I wouldn't be able to do this. No one knows better than us the finite resources that we have here. So I don't think there's anyone that could care more about the land and its health and the balance than the people that are living on it and working on it. It's the lifeblood. We all understand that water is our lifeblood. We do our best to conserve it and to use it wisely because without it, we're nothing. <laughs>